this is a quick observatory update I've removed this finder and the mount the mount is one of those mounts that allows you to finely adjust it in altitude and azimuth it's a very nice mount but it's incredibly heavy these two things, the mount and the finder are two kilograms so as a result my tube is no longer balanced properly I've got a, a solar scope down there it's in uh, William Optics ED80 and I had the other finder scope here balancing it out and now I've got more weight on this side than I've got on this side so my plan is to take all of those cables and electronics that are currently opposite the um, this pit here and bring them to here and that will help balance out the difference between the weight of this and um, and the weight of the of those bits those bits don't weigh anything like as much as this but it will help a little and it will um, reduce the leverage that um, these things here are putting on the mount so it should should make it um, should make it easier for the mount I've been able to do this and remove the finder because I installed an off-axis guider which has been brilliant I get always multiple stars to choose from um, I'm using the latest version of PHD2 and with that you can do multiple star alignment and on some occasions I'm getting eight stars that it will um, that it will find to um, to do the tracking against um, which is pretty impressive um, given that it's an off-axis guider it's quite a large chip this is the QHY5 L2 mono here I'm removing all of the cables and electronics from the telescope tube now I've got all the cables off I've got a few hours of soldering to reduce the sizes of the cables so that they're all um, nice and tidy so this cable only has to go to there so I'm going to make it a lot shorter so it literally just goes to there like that this is what it looks like inside this is my dew heater controller it's actually a Velleman motor speed controller um, which does pulsed width modulation um, to change the amount of power going to the uh, to the output based on the resistance of this um, potentiometer in this box is an Arduino and a four channel relay control board and it works with my ASCON compliant PowerBuddy software since I've taken it off the telescope I thought I'd change the resistors in it because the LEDs that light up um, I've got LEDs this side which is the input and then LEDs on this side which is the outputs and um, they both light up when the relays are on um, but they're too bright so I need to increase the resistor size on them to reduce the brightness of them this is what it looks like inside so here's the Arduino here's the four channel relay board these are the pins that I'm using to control the relay board there's four of them, one for each relay and then there's also a ground which is getting off the Arduino and a power which it gets off the Arduino and then here is where you then wire up the relays to go from here via the relay over to here and then these are the resistors um, that I need to change there's eight of them in total my electronics book says I need to use one kilo ohm resistors for a 12 volt supply I'm currently using 4.76 kilo ohms um, and they're too bright so I'm probably going to look for 10 or 20 kilo ohms 
Here I'm reconnecting the electronic boxes to the Vixen dovetail. The electronics have plastic dovetail mount clamps, which I 3D printed and glued on. The white box is my homemade dew heater controller. This is glued to my Power Buddy, which is an ASCOM compliant relay controller that I designed. The next two boxes from left to right are an 8 port USB 3 powered hub and a power distribution box. This takes the single 12 volt 30 amp supply cable and splits it into five separate feeds. I do this to reduce the number of cables travelling up the mount. I'll leave a link to my EQ6 cable management system in the description. I measured how long each power cable needed to be and cut them down to size and resoldered the connections. I then sorted through my USB cables and fitted the shortest cables possible. A couple were still too long so I ordered shorter cables and fitted these off camera. This is everything I've removed. I've got the finder, the mount for the finder and then this is all of the extra cable that I've cut out by moving where all the electronics is to a different position so it's all this cable. So the cable comes to 299 grams. I've taken into account the pot. If I now reset the pot, reset that to zero, we add on this, got a thousand and eighty six grams. And then if we add this on, we've got eight hundred and twenty grams. So those three things together come to 2.2 kilograms um, I'm not sure that is in pounds, it's probably about five pounds so that's quite a lot of weight all removed by having an off-axis guider so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please click the thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this then please click the subscribe button I'll see you in the next video